You are listening to the greatest who ever done it. You are listening to the greatest who ever done it. What's up, y'all? Funky Fresh Radio, the hottest radio show in the city. Funky Fresh TV, the hottest thing cracking. There's your opportunity to go back and look at all the other shows because we are at number 11. So you gotta go check out the last 10, alright? Great show in the city, Funky Fresh Radio, Boston Marathon Music. Mr. Funky Fresh in the building. Let's get underway with some hot stuff today. I got a filmmaker in the building, I got politics in the building. We just chilling. Come on with me, baby. We're doing that, man. Real talk, you know what I'm saying? I, I learned a lot from you. Them dudes that get paid a hundred million dollars to do a movie? Yeah. Well, not that much, but the twenty million to do a movie? Yeah, they deserve that money. <laughs> <laughs> they deserve that money. So, um, tell me some more about the movie. Business is war. Y'all definitely got to see it. They really do. Yeah, it's uh, it, it definitely was a, a, a community project. Uh, the city of Boston really rallied behind us, putting the film out. Uh, we got a lot of help and a lot of support from the community. And uh, we would just like people to come out to the screening, those who weren't able to make the Roxbury screen screening or the uh, Martha's Vineyard screening or able to check us out in Atlanta, definitely come to the screening. Um, I believe there'll be food available, a Q&A afterward. And uh, if you haven't seen the film, uh, I'm sure you'll come in and enjoy it and see Mr. Funky Fresh in uh, his debut role in B.I.W., uh, you know? See my debut role in, in a real film. Not them tape ones, you know, not them other ones. Not the real DVD. No, no, not the other ones, you know. But, um, uh, like I said, well, to go back to, you know, filming it, when you were filming it, like, like I said, I had a real good time doing it. Um, how long did it take you to film that? It took us about two years in total. Wow, really? Yeah, we were only shooting on, on weekends. Everyone had a nine to five. Yeah. So in order to um, you know work around everyone's schedule, we were relegated to shooting basically on the weekends. Mm -hmm. But it took us about two years shooting mm -hmm. on weekends. Wow, wow, two yeah. years, huh? Did you, did you do the Robert Townsend move? You paid for it all on your credit card? Uh, not my <laughs> personal credit card. Uh, my father, Kenneth Gordon, uh, was the producer on the, on the film. Shouts to Pop Dukes, Moms, everyone the out there. Okay. Um, so it wasn't my credit card, but <laughs> it, was, it was the family's money, you know? Yeah, so yeah. Um, we, we, we definitely would like to see some type of, uh, you know, get back off uh -huh. of the investment. Uh -huh. But uh, just to have uh, completed a film mm -hmm. is, is a blessing all, is all on its own, you know? It's your first one, right? Yes, sir. Wow, that's, that's major, man. That's huge. You definitely got to be proud of yourself. Thank you. That's huge. Um, so, are you working on another film? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on a treatment right now. Is uh, the one me and you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> talking about this point, right? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. The hey, stars hey. of radio show by the There day. you go. There you Sorry, go. There yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. you know, that's a million soul right there. <laughs> <laughs> we can crack the box office right there, baby. Oh, no, but go ahead, yo. Yeah, but I'm, I'm working on one. Um, it's it's going to require um, a bit more of a budget than we had for mm -hmm. Business is War. Mm -hmm. But hopefully we can find the, the money somewhere, mm -hmm. you know. Um, hopefully Business is War can make enough of a splash mm -hmm. so that someone feels confident enough uh, in us to put some money behind us. Well, it sounds it sounds so far so good with, with the movies, some of the things that happened with the movie already, right? Yeah, uh, we actually ended up winning uh, the Audience Choice Award at the Roxbury Film Festival, mm -hmm. as well as I, I won uh, Best... Uh, you know why that is, movie. right? Uh, Mr. Funky There Fresh. you go. All right, all right, all right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> and then we came in second place at the, uh, the HBO Feature Film Competition in Martha's Vineyard. You know why that is, right? Mr. Funky Because there wasn't enough of me in there. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> And I was able to take home uh, Best Emerging Filmmaker at the Atlanta Peachtree Film Festival, which was last month. I'll let you have it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, good, good. Congratulations. Uh, coming up November 3rd, we have a showing in South Africa uh, in the South African International Film Festival. Wow. So that's pretty cool. And uh, we're, just, we're just 
gonna ride this thing out. And, you know, so you going to South Africa? No, man, uh, no I can't afford it, man. But uh, wow, they don't fly you over. No, 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 no. But oh, okay. uh, the film will will represent us, mm -hmm. and hopefully it does well. You know. Wow. Wow, that's huge. South Africa, huh? Yeah. I knew I was international. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Big shout out to you, man. But um, I really, like I said, I really appreciate the opportunity. It was great. Thank um, you, like, like. Hey, hey, I can't wait to see the movie myself. I'm definitely going to be there. I, try, I, I couldn't make it the last time because I had it, but I'm definitely going to be there. Uh, there's right. nothing else time you can be seeing that. Right. Because um, I've told too many people about this movie, and you know, a few people I saw saw it, uh -huh. and you know, I, I feel like left out. You know, yeah. Even though he was in it, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. feel left out. But um, great work, man. You're a very good uh, director. Thank you. You, know, you did your thing. I'm, I'm happy for you, man. Your first flick. Anybody that do a first or something, you know, and, and get it done yeah, is, yeah. Is, is the biggest move ever. For real, I mean, for real, no matter for what happens after that, you, you, you completed and finished something that, you know, most people have the opportunity to do. So I really commend you on that. Thank you. Thank talk. you. And uh, I just would shout out everyone who helped me. It was definitely a collective effort. Mm -hmm. And even you, you know, took time out of your busy schedule to give us a much needed appearance yeah. in the film. And I thank everyone who was a part has helped me and, and yourself and the city of Boston. Right, right. You heard him much needed, right? Yeah. That part. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what else, before you go, you know, I, I don't want you to leave right away, but what, what other plans did you have? Um, right now, um, uh, basically, uh, our main focus is promoting this film and starting to gear up for the next one. Mm, okay. uh, putting ourselves in the, in the right position to um, send out treatments to different producers and, mm. and hopefully get something moving. Mm, really? Yeah. Wow, okay. So did we talk about what the next movie was? Um, briefly, um, just something, that it's a, it's a, it's, I can just give you, it's a, it's a basketball film. Oh, really? Yeah, based here. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to play ball. <laughs> well, you know, it has got to be a GM, right? You know? Okay, all right, okay. I, you I know, I'll find that. some place for you in I can run with that. I can run with that. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully with a few more lines, I'm going to be cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um... Can't forget the assistant. Hey, executives has assistants too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, anything, anything else, <laughs> anything else you want to add, you know, I will be able to get at you real quick. Uh, no, just again, come out to uh, Hibernian Hall Friday, October 30th at 8 p.m. Um, tickets, seven bucks at the door. Um, hope to see everyone there. Me too. Thank you so much, Russ, for having me on. Okay. And um, that's about it, man. So make sure y'all go check that out, man, because I'm, I'm definitely coming through. I really hope you people come and support the cause, because that's exactly what we need is, is, is support of the, of the things that we do on our own. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all come on October 30th, High Burning Hall. What time does it start? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Come check out Business is War movie. And you won't be disappointed, I can tell you that, because I was there. Especially on my blog. You know, I try to describe, people ask me, so what do you do? I'm like, you know, I'm on the radio. So I try to explain. Mm -hmm. But there's too many young people that don't, I try to, to reference my part too. Yeah. Remember Wild Style? Yes. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Remember the woman that was talking? Yes. That's how I try to reference to it, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He ain't never saw the movie. <laughs> he ain't never saw the movie. I've seen the movie. I seen oh, you saw the movie? Yeah. You saw the movie? Why don't you do the right thing? Ha! Ah, there you go. That Shane, was a good one. Samuel L. Jackson. Did you see do the right thing? Yeah, Warriors. Okay! <laughs> Alright! How about Warriors? The Warriors. That's what I was talking about. Okay. Oh, did I say why I saw Warriors? Warriors. Warriors. That's what I meant to say. There you go. Oh, okay, okay. You didn't even see Warriors either. Don't even try it. <laughs> I got a I got an executive assistant that ain't seen nothing, ain't heard nothing. I played the game. <laughs> Kamel, hey. thank you for coming out, brother. Thank you, Russ. Uh, big shout out to uh, Media Push Films. Make sure y'all go check out the movie Business yeah. is War, October 31st, Hibernian Hall at 8 o'clock. Yes. Okay. So